after eight months of waiting, we are finally on our way to go pick up our Model Y. The service center. Yep. Delivery day. The big day. That's satisfying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now it's gonna be dusty. <laughs> yep. So just don't don't touch it. Oh gosh. I'm kidding. I know. If you're not familiar with Teslas, one of the surprising things is just how much storage space they have inside of them. Because it does not have a gas tank, there's actually an entire sub-trunk below the trunk that you can fit fairly large items in. And there's also little cubbies on either side of the sub-trunk that are about a foot deep and you can fit more items in there as well. Not to mention the front trunk, which we call a frunk in a Tesla, that has even more storage space since there's no engine. We find this to be the perfect place for takeout because it does not connect with the rest of the car and the smells stay out of your cabin. Another nice feature that has been improved since we bought our 2018 Model 3 is that they have now included dual pane windows in the front and passenger sides of the car. This really cuts down on road noise. It's been a big improvement. I'm going all the way up. Okay, so we just wanted to kind of get real about the amount of space that there is in the um, Tesla Model Y seven seater because we've seen a lot of videos and everybody's like, oh yeah, you can fit an adult for at least a little while, you can fit in there. But if you take a look with the seats up and the chairs in the middle row where our kids normally sit, where they have about as much leg room as they do in our Model 3, there is absolutely no leg room in the back row. So we can give you a little peek on how much room there is right now in the middle row, which is about average, not a ton of space. So in our case, it works out really well because we have small children, six-year-old, two six-year-olds and eight-year-old. And sometimes we take around a neighbor kid or a niece, so it, that's what we wanted it for. But if you are thinking that you're going to put an adult back here, it will be somewhat challenging. In fact, Zach tried to get in the back and it was quite comical. He had struggled to get in. Now, I can get in, and if we adjust the seats, which we will do and show you, I can get in the back seat, and I could definitely ride for a little while. I wouldn't want to take, like, a road trip in it, and you're kind of scrunched. But I can fit, and we have fit people all the way in all three rows. So we'll let you see what it looks like to help give you an idea if it's something that would work for your family. Okay, Zach has determined that he thinks he can fit. So we will see if he can actually fit and get in here. here we go. Okay. He is six, a tight squeeze, six but feet. I'm getting better at it. He's six feet tall for frame of reference. His head is fully popped out of the trunk. Well, which Okay, I'm going to shut it, so you're going to have to probably duck your head. I'll duck this to make sure. <laughs> Because um, <laughs> <laughs> your forehead is in the. I mean, it's not like I wouldn't want to spend like 
taking eight hours here, but, you know what I mean? How are your feet? Are you actually... My feet are actually okay, because they go under the seat. Yeah, so. I, I did do that when I so went So that's not too bad. My knees, like at that seating position, look how much room there is there. Yeah, there's not much room. But in, I, I your, can... It's in your mode. In my mode, which means that the seat is further up. <laughs> so don't even try to put it in mine, because that, that won't work. So... Right, you're going to try to sit Yeah, I'm going to show that I can sit in this row. Oh, <laughs> so. Can you fit? Huh? Yes. You so use? another me, I have like, a, my knees are touching the seat, but I could scoot it up more. Another me could sit in the front and drive. Yeah. But, but he's like obviously scrunched. Okay. So I am five, six. I'm a little shorter than Zach. So it is easier for me to get in, although I still managed to hit my head on the roof. He is back. I have more leg room than him. I'm not scrunched to the side. Did you hit your? You hit I your hit my head on the way in, but that was just right, my ready? awkwardly getting in the car. All right, see you later. And I actually don't have to duck. I, I don't have to duck. I actually like my hair is not touching the the top. Yep. So okay. so just barely I five, fit. Five, Anybody higher than five six, you might have like maybe one inch. But of course, like children are small, so children will sit back here, and it's it's all actually work really well. That's no problem. But an adult is a little iffy. This is going from Zach's profile to my profile. And still limited space, but like Zach said, you can actually tuck your feet under the chair in the back. And they do have cup holders, which is nice, and headrests, and still. A little bit of trunk space even with seats up. I'm gonna put some groceries in there. As you can see here, one feature of Model Y didn't come with is ultrasonic sensors. When we first took delivery, it did not have Park Assist enabled. We recently received a software update that is introducing Tesla Vision Park Assist. Now that we have it, we're going to do some real-world comparisons of our Teslas with and without ultrasonic sensors to see how the new Park Assist works in comparison to the ultrasonic sensors. Love it, how you love the electric, like you do.